have that lovely in competition sill like that. Looking at the interior of the M2, it is efficient and tight and it's nice and sleek. One beautiful custom appointment in the interior is that Alcantara orange stitching door side panel with the gloss black rather than the carbon fiber it completes the midnight madness look um, the steering wheel is nice and thick to give you um, a better grip you also have the menu where you can access different functions like my vehicle my vehicle you can get to your drive settings and this is really like a whole feature in itself where you can program your car um, to your liking and you can access your drive settings really through your steering wheel. See that M1 and M2? Well, this is the menu screen by hitting your menu and going in here. You can set up your drive settings and your vehicle settings. So in this case, if I wanted to set for my M drive one, I can press that and that'll tell me what settings I have on the car set for and I can change it as I go. So in my M1, I'll keep the DSC on. I can set it for Sport or Efficiency or Sport Plus. We'll leave it in Sport. We can set our steering. And these correspond to these buttons that you could find right here. This is your steering. You can control your settings for your steerings from Sport, Comfort, or Sport Plus if you're doing track very responsive and obviously with three levels each level of responsiveness is controlled by the car's computer so sport plus you might want to use for track it's very precise not as good for city driving or just kind of around town you might want to use comfort mode it's a little easier and it'll be a little smoother and less jerky as you're you know because when you're in sport plus the car will go precisely where you set the wheel to go. There's no very little play. The electronic steering though, which is a source of contention for a lot of BMW people, um, gives you a little bit of a feel of the road, but it's not quite like the hydraulic steering was. Um, I have to say BMW, uh, I like the hydraulic, the feel of the road better. But how do you complain about this car? So of course you can set your engine mode to sport, efficient sport plus some guys use efficient mode so that they don't get so jumpy off the throttle they can kind of ease into the throttle a little bit it's nicer for the city but if you push it down uh, you'll get your heel to toe you get your down shifting and you'll be able to still access all your power but um, you'll have a little more play on the accelerator pedal which could be a good thing if you're you know, just kind of commuting. It's just car is not that bad for. It's a hard ride, but it's livable. Sorry. And here's something really interesting. You can set your transmission shift points. Now, look at the modes that they give you here. And you have your shift modes for sport and drive, and you can set it where you like it. And, you know, we could cover all those different shift points on later videos. Um, maybe we'll get to that at a later time. But through that function, you can access and custom select everything you want. Um, of course, you can reset everything back to factory default. And here's your M2 drives. I have it set to DSC off. You can access the same with this button over here. But um, one touch, man. Don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. If somebody's going to come up next to you. And uh, you're one of them kind of people. Here's the climate control system for the BMW M2. You have individual settings for both sides, the right side of the cabin. Of course, we're an American car here. So the left side of the cabin will be here which we can control it automatically. We can raise and lower the thermostats individually. Over here we have seat warmer for the driver. Maximum, medium, low, and off. 
rear defroster. And we have our levels. We can set where we want the airflow to come out of. Do we want the airflow to come from the top, from the middle, or from down below in the floor passenger? And you can change the settings of how you want it. And you can see how the display You can do it for the left side of the cabin. For the right side of the cabin, so your passenger can adjust it to their liking without having to annoy you. Quirky, um, but it seems like you can't necessarily max it over there. You have to max it on this side, not on the right side. Here's your automatic and your manual controls, and here's, of course, maximum AC. And you want to cool down the car in a hurry, and you know. I have to tell you, BMW, in years past, I always found their climate control system to be not quite as good as I would have hoped. Let's just put it that way. Um, I couldn't quite figure out for the life of me how you would have these thermostat controls and yet still they could be governed and overridden by using this dial setting over here, which controls heat to cold. So it seemed a little redundant, but um, I'm not quite sure why they do it, but um, I guess when you're driving, and rather than having to sit there touching buttons, you can just kind of zoom, slide it over real quick and be done with it. Is keep your hands on the wheel. So if you're in a high speed mode or something like that, um, it's certainly quick uh, to do it that way. Um, you can also see on the dash we have the uh, control system for the radio and this is not just for the radio but this controls also your navigation system so you can preset how you like your navigation screens and maps and you can use your settings over here to um, hit the presets that you want now over here I like to have um, a general full view of my navigation but I like a little closer view on the left side and I can just hit one of these preset buttons over here and it'll go there or I can program radio stations. It's kind of cool to have. Um, again, one thing about the BMW that you'll find is that once you've uh, gotten into the car, you don't get bored so easy. You always find little cookies and gadgets and doodads and do this and do that and all that, that, you know? It's uh, pretty cool, man. A lot of little... Easter eggs and features, whatever the hell they call it. All right, so you can control all the nonsense and tomfoolery with this little innovative dial over here, but this is like the coolest thing. Check it out. You, you've got your media over here. Your satellite radio and, and whatever you want to do, you know, as far as your communication uh, radios and music collections and telephones and the apps that they give you with it they give you Spotify and they give you Apple Play and I like to also put in like little USBs you know with my music on it and it's really really cool so you can access everything over here and if I look down you have your navigation so this is really cool what I could do is I can use this little dial over here to enter an address so let's just say I want to change where I want to go. Watch this. I can use my finger, and this is like a little touch screen. And look, look, I can draw all over this thing here. M. <laughs> M. Yes, M. A. A. R. Didn't made a mistake. Uh, let's try an L. And like Marlboro. And that's where Marlboro M2 comes from. So there you go. Of course, cycling through the menus, the screens have changed a little bit since when I had my last 2016 BMW. You can go right across this thing here. They got all kinds of goodies here. But check this out. They got this connected drive. 
what is it? I don't know. Big BMW is big brothering you or whatever it is, but they've got a whole message center. When you buy the car new, they hook you up, they connect you, and um, you can use your phone to remote control, lock your doors, hunk your horn, turn on your lights, turn on ventilation if it's a hot day. That is like really cool. Hot day, you can turn on your ventilation system like 10 minutes before you get to the car. You can even program your destination ahead of time and send it to your car. It's great. All right, so speaking of programming your car, you also have the menu where you can access different functions like my vehicle. My vehicle, you can get to your drive settings. And this is really like a whole feature in itself where you can program your car um, to your liking and you can access your drive settings really through your steering wheel. See that M1 and M2? Well, this is the menu screen by hitting your menu and going in here. You can set up your drive settings and your vehicle settings. So in this case, if I wanted to set for my M drive one, I can press that and that'll tell me what settings I have on the car set for and I can change it as I go. So in my M1, I'll keep the DSC on. I can set it for sport or efficiency or sport plus. We'll leave it in sport. We can set our steering. And these correspond to these buttons that you could find right here. This is your steering. You can control your settings for your steerings from sport, comfort, or sport plus if you're doing track very responsive and obviously with three levels each level of responsiveness is controlled by the car's computer so sport plus you might want to use for track it's very precise not as good for city driving or just kind of around town you might want to use comfort mode it's a little easier and it'll be a little smoother and less jerky as you're you know because when you're in sport plus the car will go precisely where you set the wheel to go. There's no very little play. The electronic steering though, which is a source of contention for a lot of BMW people, um, gives you a little bit of a feel of the road, but it's not quite like the hydraulic steering was. Um, I have to say BMW, uh, I like the hydraulic, the feel of the road better. But how do you complain about this car? So of course you can set your engine mode to sport, efficient sport plus some guys use efficient mode so that they don't get so jumpy off the throttle they can kind of ease into the throttle a little bit it's nicer for the city but if you push it down uh, you'll get your heel to toe you get your down shifting and you'll be able to still access all your power but um, you'll have a little more play on the accelerator pedal which could be a good thing if you're you know, just kind of commuting. So this car is not that bad for it. It's a hard ride, but it's livable. Sorry. And here's something really interesting. You can set your transmission shift points. Now, look at the modes that they give you here. And you have your shift modes for sport and drive, and you can set it where you like it. And, you know, we could cover all those different shift points on later videos. Um, maybe we'll get to that at a later time. But through that function, you can access and custom select everything you want. Um, of course, you can reset everything back to factory default. And here's your M2 drives. I have it set to DSC off. You can access the same with this button over here. But um, one touch, man. Don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Somebody's going to come up next to you. And uh, you're one of them kind of people. Well, you can get quick access to the M mode pretty quick. Driver profiles. Haha. <laughs> well, if I'm driver one, you can program your daughter, your wife, your friends guests, this guy, that guy, that guy here, that guy there, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So you can set everything in custom, set it the way you want for your car. This is your vehicle status, and of course, I am accessing it with the 
the wheel of wonder over here. And when you're driving, it'll monitor your tire pressure. Now, interestingly enough, with your tire pressure, uh, my M235 XI actually was able to measure tires down to the tenth of a pound. They've done away with that, and they've kind of rounded all the numbers off to save people the agony of, oh, I've got 35.8. Oh, I've got 36.2 in the other one. And they're bouncing and bouncing. And it's never right. The temperature goes up. The temperature goes down. The tires go this way. That. Nah. <laughs> you know, I mean, they just made it simple. But uh, I like everything to uh, a statistical accurate level. So I kind of like the uh, tire pounds to the 10, you know. Of course, your tire pressure monitors, you can reset your tires here, you can go down the menu, you can check your oils, look at that, service required, you can even call your service from the car, that's right, in fact, I booked my 1200 mile uh, break-in service right through the car as I was in my vehicle.